Hey, Fesky, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Good. Good. Um, just been talking to, to Lee Scales and um, what you might be doing for the company of Wetz, or a, a wait you could do for the company of Wetz, what do you think? Yeah, um, obviously from Wexford, um, started with the Moyne Rangers, so I'm here to try and make Wexford proud. And so far, how's the Republic of Ireland experience been? Yeah, it's been good. I think I've been involved now the last three camps. Um, I love all the players, love all the coaching stuff, um, and hopefully I can make a name for myself here. It doesn't get much more difficult coming on against a France team as good as they are uh, at the Park of France, how did that feel? Yeah, it was amazing to make my debut there. Um, obviously, they've got some of the best players in the world. I wish I could have played longer, but it was a very good moment for me. And tell me about Udinese. Um, to win at the San Siro for any player at any time in his career is pretty special. Yeah, it was a great, great feeling, especially because we didn't have the start of the season that we wanted, but um, we've got a new manager now. Um, I think a lot of the players are getting more comfortable with each other, so we're on the come up now, and hopefully we can continue continue that. Some people are, are almost afraid to make the move further abroad than, than the UK. It's been working out so far for you? Yeah, it's been working out for me very well. I think uh, some other players are going out there now as well, and um, hopefully more will see it as uh, just another opportunity, like not only to stay in England, but to venture elsewhere as well. And are you hopeful of game time this weekend? Yeah, hopefully. Um, I'm ready, ready to play. Um, whatever minutes I get, whether I get any minutes, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Danny, please. Messi, just to follow on what Tommy said there, I think 12 games a season in Indonesia you played, you've started nine of them, you've driven all 12. How do you feel that move has developed you as a player? I definitely think I've come a long way. Um, it's a different style of playing. Um, in Italy, so I've had to adapt and add some new new prospects to my game. And I think I have done that in the year and a half that I've been there now. And in terms of the different style of play, do you think obviously it does suit you? Do you think it suits you? Yeah, I think it suits me. Um, England style, maybe in the champ, suited me a bit, a bit more. It was more physical, but um, I've learned now um, the Italian style, and I really do enjoy it. It's definitely helped me in my football. We're chatting, as Tony said there, to Liam Scales. He's a player who had to be patient. I know you had those two caps as a substitute in two big games. Would you love to play this week? Do you feel you're, you're, you're ready this week? Obviously, Steve has the opportunity to do a bit of experimenting in this game against the Dutch and, and the friendly next week. Yeah, um, I'm grateful for any game time that I will get or won't get. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. And just a word on, just find us a word on Steve. And obviously, he said he's manager. What is his faith in you? He's going through a tough time at the moment. But your own relationship with Stephen? Yeah, uh, he always calls me during during the season at random times just to check in, see if, if I'm doing if I'm doing well. Um, I think he's a great manager. I enjoy working with him, and hopefully, you can continue to work with him. So thanks, Neil. Hi, Christy. Uh, you touched on the you know chance to be more physical, maybe than Italy. So what what is Italy? Is it more tactical, slower? Um, yes, it's more tactical. Um, I'd say you have to be more um, concentrated in the games um, tackling wise just positioning and everything I'd say that's the that's the main difference and is your physicality then a point of difference for you that maybe opponents aren't used to or? what do you mean sorry well if you're if you're more physical as a player because that's the style you're coming for is that a point of difference for you that you can use to your advantage against the opposing team uh, oh so um, it was a disadvantage at the start because I was flying into tackles and everything so I had to <laughs> calm down a bit but now I can use it well so yeah and do you feel that the first year was kind of a real learning curve for you because you featured a lot but maybe not from the start but now you're obviously playing more regularly get more minutes. yeah it took me a good few months to actually understand the difference and then once I adapted to it more near the end of, se end of the season last year I was able to get more playing time and start doing well and then obviously this season I've had a full year to really know the style of play that they do and is it more like the championship Tuesday, Saturday, night, there's fewer games in Italy. Is there more time spent on the training ground, more time dedicated? Yeah, time? definitely a lot more time spent on the training ground, doing extra extra sessions like after the session as well, just to get ready for the games because it's only one game a week. John Farnham, please. when you're coming toward the end of the derby, um, I know Wayne Rooney said he 
wouldn't necessarily agree with the route you took. Did you have a chat with him at all and take that into account? About the move to... Going to Italy, didn't think it was the right move for you at your age. Um, yeah, I did speak with him. He just um, said to me to consider all my options, and I did. And then I still felt like Udinese was the best one for me. Have you heard from him since? No. no. Okay. And just um, on the Ireland situation, like you've had a lot of great right backs down the years, playing as a matter here and all coming towards the end. Like when you were growing up, did you look at that spot, or were you more of a winger when you were younger? Yeah, when I was younger, I was I was more of a winger. Um, it was actually James McLean that I looked up to a lot um, watching the Ireland team. But um, yeah, now I am a still attacking player, so I can play on the wing or right back. So kind of just would play anywhere. Kevin, come and please. Firstly, uh, would you recommend to a young lad, teenager, coming up behind you to try Italian football? Would you recommend yeah, um, it's worked. Over, over the obvious English option. Yeah, I think um, if you're not afraid to take a risk then yeah definitely because you will improve in the long run like it is tough at the start but once you get used to it it's very much enjoyable like I very the much is the language. yeah definitely so my first manager there didn't speak any English so there was a bit of a language barrier so I had to learn obviously to be able to speak to them and that but it's good as well to be into the culture it makes you adapt better you feel it now really? yeah I can speak good Italian now yeah Gavin Cooney, please. Yeah, how are you Tell us about Serie A. Who stands out among your more typical opponents? Um, Opponents-wise, um, I mean, we played against a lot of the top teams. I think for me, it would probably be Di Maria. Um, played against them last season. And, um, yeah, he was he was incredible to watch. Yeah, uh, incredible to watch with Tisco. Yeah, I didn't play that game, so. Oh, <laughs> and then, um, in terms of stadiums, like, what's been the best one you've enjoyed most in terms of stadiums to travel to and play in? Um, yeah, I, I would say San Siro. It's where I made my debut. Um, definitely my, probably one of my favourite stadiums. Also, our stadium, the Blue Energy Stadium, is a good stadium as well. I enjoy playing there. Yeah, and just lastly for me, uh, in terms of Irish training, is anyone beating you in the sprints? No. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just one. Oh yeah. Um, this was after the Milan game. I seen it saying that I was the fastest in the league, and I do feel like I'm the fastest in the league. So, 